Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is Codations, coming at you guys today with another video, and today we are diving into a first impressions on Skylanders Ring of Heroes Revamped. That is right, so if you don't already know, Skylanders is a game that is developed by com to us and Activision, and they originally launched this game back in December um, of 2018, so the game is officially two years old, but nevertheless, I want to say roughly 48 hours ago, maybe 20 four hours ago, um, the developers decided to bring this game down. They've been secretly working on it behind closed doors. They've been talking about remastering or basically revamping the game. Well, congratulations. We are here today. We've been grinding out the game for roughly 24 hours now. Um, we've had a pretty good time in the game, but so I just wanted to bring you guys my first impressions and my thoughts on it, and then maybe, you know, feature some more videos on it going on further in the channel. So as always, before we dive in, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to smash that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can a notification every time we drop a video and with that being said let's dive right in Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the combat system in the game. As always, that's the first thing we're going to take a look at, just because I know combat is probably the best thing to turn somebody on when it comes to a mobile game or to deter them away from that specific game. So we're going to hop over here to the Rainbow Valley. Um, I guess before we do, actually... This is going to be how the uh, campaign system is set up in the game. There's individual islands, and then on those islands, there are seven different stages, and then the seventh stage is always going to be a boss fight, um, and then pretty straightforward when it comes to a lot of these mobile and idle games. Um, there are different star rankings, so basically one out of three stars that you can collect from the clearance of that stage and how well you clear it um, and meeting the qualifications listed here. So we're going to go ahead and dive into a fight to give you guys an example. Um, pretty straightforward. You can preview the different here, um, the enemies that you're going up against. Um, you can see some of their skills listed here. Um, what exactly that they do. Um, actually, I don't want to do the boss fight. Let's go to a three a three star stage here just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. And they do have the ability to adjust your team on the fly. Um, so you can click the team formation option here and you can obviously click somebody out, click somebody in, or you can click the auto pace or place button and it will throw um, your units in there for you as well. So very straightforward. These are going to be a list of the Skylanders that we have currently collected. This is nowhere near all of them, but this shows you a little bit of the um, amount that we were able to achieve in 24 hours of playing the game. Um, all right, so hopping back over here, there is an auto button feature. Um, if you three-star a stage, pretty straightforward when it comes to mobile games. Um, you can obviously um, come back in here and actually auto battle that stage, um, and then this one has a limit up to 20 times um, So at a given moment. So obviously, we've got more stamina to run this 20 times, or more than 20 times, um, but you can see that once we click the start button, it'll do it for only 20, it'll stop after 20, and then we can either clear bags or do whatever and run for another 20, um, or we can stop. So that's pretty self-explanatory. You can see the rewards here that you can collect as well, and this is a stamina-driven system. So you can see there that it did cost us three stamina um, in order to... Uh, go into the stage and, you know, fight the stage. Um, the next thing to take a look, take note of is the combat system is going to be driven by a mana crystal or mana stone system. So as we take damage, as we fight and we do damage, we will accumulate um, these uh, mana crystals um, and then basically utilizing these skills where the numbers are below them actually consumes that amount of stamina um, and then that's basically how your skills are used and popped off. Now we're currently running on auto. Um, you can come here and actually tick this auto button off and you can have a lot more control and flexibility and quite honestly you're going to have to do that um, on certain stages because once you get into some of those other stages we're currently on the we ju currently just finished the easy mode moving on to the normal mode of the campaign um, and then again it's already getting super super tough on that first island in the normal mode um, but like I said you can definitely get in here and you can mid max and select what um, skill you want to pop off at any given moment um, and then not only that too they do have a speed bonus as well but you can even set and control your auto um, a little bit. So your auto AI, you can do, you know, make sure it focuses the boss at any given moment. 
um, lowest HP first or the highest attack first. Basically, whatever direction you want to go, um, it gives you a little bit of control over the AI system. But again, pretty straightforward when it comes to a mana crystal um, driven system. Um, everybody shares that same pool. In the middle here that my guy just used is actually what, you know, like a summoner's ability or um, in this case, they call them portal masters because we're in, in the world of Skylanders, you summon, you know, um, Skylanders through portals. And so with that being the case, this specific um, portal master that I'm using, there is only three currently in the game that we know of, um, but uh, has shield buff. So it basically puts a shield on all of my heroes. Um, but that's going to be pretty much it when it comes to combat systems. So um, the next thing up you can see is we can do a auto retry button. The uh, heroes do level up. You can see here um, it obviously tells you as well that the three heroes I have currently are maxed out at level 40. I can evolve those heroes in order to basically increase their stars. You can see it blinking um, and then it you know goes from there. We'll dive into that in a second when we get into more of what exactly um, are the heroes and how do they function. Um, but before we do that, like I said, this is a island driven system. Um, it's a stamina driven system as well when it comes to the game. And then there are three different modes. Um, you can do the easy, the normal or the hard mode. Um, and not only that, there is what they call a guardian section. So you can come to the Guardian section, and there's actually these islands um, that you can kind of like idle, I guess is the way you want to explain it. Um, you can patrol them is what they what they call. Um, and then after that patrol is up, you can claim additional rewards. It's another little cool little system. Um, but that's going to basically be it when it comes to the actual campaign mode in the game. Um, the next thing up they've got on here is they've got a bunch of different challenges that you can take advantage of. Um, they do have the um, inevitable for every mobile game, and that is going to be the Endless Tower mode so this is going to be the mirage tower um, you basically pretty straightforward you climb the floors and each floor has an individual reward and then after you hit certain milestones um, you can collect additional rewards so you can see here um, at level 15 10, 5, 20, you know, whatever levels you basically clear or the amount of stars that you collect, I guess, is what this actually is. Um, you basically um, unlock these additional rewards. And again, it's pretty straightforward um, when it comes to a endless infinite tower system. Um, the next thing up they've got is they're going to have a bunch of different boss fights. So you can see um, some of the different floors and the resources and the higher the floor you go, the better quality, but also the harder um, the boss fights become. Again, um, very straightforward when it comes to a lot of idle games, um, and they do have an awakening system in the game, so you need to collect these um, awakening materials in order to awaken your specific um, Skylander, um, which then unlocks additional skills and abilities and stat bonuses and that sort of thing, um, and then they've got um, just a bunch of different you know, options for like dungeons and stuff that you can also um, explore to collect additional resources but that's going to be the challenging section and then they also have a arena or pvp mode um that currently the only one that's in the game right now is going to be the arena um, I believe this coming soon is probably, um, if I had to take a guess, going to be a ranking system. Um, most Cobb to us games um, have a pretty straightforward system when it comes to regular arena and then ranked arena. So I'm assuming that's what this is going to be. Um, and then obviously, um, moving right along, we're going to dive into the Skylanders um, and show you some of the additional Skylanders that you can obviously um, you know, get and collect. Um, so we're going to click the collection here button just so I can show you all of them. Um, but again, we're going to go ahead and show you the ones that we've got. So the ones that are grayed out are the ones that we do not have collected, and then the colored ones that are filled in we have. Um, so to give you guys an example, for instance, this is the first legendary that we got um, on this account by summoning. Um, is Spitfire. So a pretty cool unit. Um, he is our first legendary. He's a fire unit, attack unit. You can read all of his individual skills. Um, and then as you can see something like this, it also covers, I pointed at the screen, like you guys can see what I'm looking at. But um, nevertheless... Um, like he adds the explosion effect to enemies again, pretty straightforward, but you can see all of their individual skills, um, and that sort of thing. And then you can also check out some really cool ones as well. Like the ones that you don't have and, um, you know, see if you want to, you know, pull for them or try to hunt them or whatever. So to give you an example, um, this is what the base chain reaction looks like at zero as it shows here. Um, and then clicking on the, um, awakened version, you know, it obviously changes the way they look, which is very, very cool. Um, and then obviously you can tell it's awakened by the purple star. So again, pretty straightforward system when it comes to a lot of other games, um, but nevertheless, there are different elements. I guess we should go back into that and show you. Um, there's different elements. You can see like the grass type, the water, the fire, air, earth, tech, and then magic, undead, and then light and dark. So again, um, a very cool, a lot of Skylanders to collect to get in there and actually... Um, 
change things up, but um, diving in a little bit into the individual Skylanders and what you can actually do. Um, so this is going to be the um, stealth elf that we have collected. Um, you can look at her individual skills right here. Not only that, there are four different ways that you can actually level up and evolve um, your individual Skylander. So Evolution here um, does, you know, basically increases their star count, increases their level cap, um, and then you can also do like the Awakening, um, which um, it's going to just explain it to us a little bit because we don't need to know, but um, nevertheless, um, you can awaken them, and as you awaken them, you will unlock the additional, um, you know, skills or additional perks underneath those skills. Um, they've got Super Boost, which is pretty interesting. Um, again, it's just another, like a speedy way of leveling up your heroes and getting additional stat bonuses once they've hit that max level. Um, so again, that's something else you can take advantage of, and then they've got Transcend. Um, I didn't click on this yet. Uh, <laughs> um, and then Transcend as well, you can use certain upgrading materials to um, a send them even further or transcend them even further. Um, the next thing up we've got is going to be the skill upgrade system and how it functions. So pretty straightforward. You collect a resource and then you can click on whichever here um, skill you want to increase um, or level up. And then once you level up, you can see the individual bonuses that they get for leveling them up or powering them up is what they call it. But you get the point. Pretty straightforward. Next thing up they've got is a interesting gear mechanic. Now, this all, all this stuff that I'm showing you, by the way, is completely different from the original Skylanders game in 2018. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I played Skylanders originally in 2018 for, I mean, at least six months. Um, so again, I was very surprised to see when this game a couple of days ago got revamped, how much um, it got revamped. It's actually quite a bit. I'm pretty impressed. Um, but nevertheless, this is a very interesting gear system. So you can see this gear over here and how it actually is individual to stealth elf um but what's interesting is is these items are not um so when you actually equip the one of these items onto a individual skylander it changes the look of that item changes the name of that item and then actually you know manifest it for that individual character so again very very cool very unique um system but that's going to be um, basically a little bit of explanation of how it works. Um, we have yet to activate this one here. We have to be six star evolution in order to unlock this for whatever reason, whatever this is. It um, looks like gloves, but apparently it's not gloves. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that kind of gives you guys a breakdown of exactly what you can do with the individual Skylanders. Um, we gave you all of the additional information that's down here. Up to the top right hand corner is going to be a overall um, quick menu system. So you can access, access this quick menu over top of anything. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Forward. I think like some of come to up come to us new game like heroes war counter attack is pretty straight uh, straight Jeez Louise pretty similar um, when it comes to this um, I think they just pretty much overlaid Skylanders onto that same kind of system the next thing up we got to take a look at in my opinion um, that a lot of people love to do and that is going to be popping off some summons so we do have some premium um, summons for you guys. We've got 10 of those. So we're going to go ahead and do a, they, they pop off in five pools. So we're going to go ahead and do a five pool summon um, for you guys to give you guys the summoning animation. But not only that, we can see what heroes we can collect. Um, so I'm going to let it go through and play its animation. It's not too long. Um, but again, obviously it's creative. It's something new. So we did get a undead. Very cool. We got a crypt king. Very nice. We got a gusto as well very cool we got another undead it looks like we got rattlesnake and then what do we say five um we've got a snapshot all right it's very cool and last but not least we've got a magic and that is going to be a deja vu very cool. So this is going to be basically the summoning system. All right. So now we are back. Um, that's going to be basically how the summoning session works. You can see the um, an summoning animation, and then you can also see the different heroes that you can collect and how you um, achieve collecting those items and the different types of summoning um, that you can do in the game. So again, I haven't dived too heavy into the game yet. We're roughly sitting at that 24 hour mark. Um, so I haven't really figured out and do dove into what the individual summoning um, pieces actually do. We'll let you know in a future video. Um, but like I said the last but not least thing I wanted to take a look at before we hop up out of here um, is going to be the portal portal master system so um, this game has a portal master um, this is a new thing that came to Skylanders as well you everybody starts off with Eugene um, and then she is a specific element as air and then she has an ability which grants evasion up um, the next one that I am currently using is from the earth and he has an ability to grant the shield effect for 50% of your max HP on all of your allies um, for one one turn yeah for one turn so again that you can also level up your individual um 
uh, portal master and then you can also increase his skill um, just like you can your individual Skylanders. So again, it adds a little bit of a, um, additional element to the game that allows you to play around with your team comps and, you know, hopefully come up with something pretty cool. Um, now, uh, the other thing, I guess I totally forgot. I don't know why I forgot this, but the other thing is, um, is they do have missions or what you would consider like achievements. So they do have like the dailies, um, over time, weekly journeys, battles and others. Um, so there's just loads of free resources that, um, the game is giving you currently right now in the game. And I'm going to assume it's going to continue going forward. Um, and then last but not least, they do also have different events as well. So they currently have some like new, uh, newcomer events going on, new revamp events going on. Um, so definitely get in there and take advantage of that. But that's going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Codations. Please be sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you get a notification every time we drop a video. Um, let me know down below in the comments. If you like, um, Skylanders ring of heroes revamped, um, what your thoughts are on it. If you are currently playing the game from the old game, I um, mean, not only that, if it is something you want me to feature more on the channel, because if not, then we're going to go ahead and pop a first impressions and move on baby. But with that being said, I'm going to see you guys on the next one.